Have a good run. Enjoy that day. See you in that system. Yarrabilla Ultra Marathon 2021. This is the fourth wave start. The uh, earlier waves have the slower competitors because they need more time in the day to get their 56 kilometers in. And uh, we get to have a bit of a sleep in the faster runners. Quite a bit of competition in the outright race group with Sean O'Callaghan wearing the black on black, leaning us out. He's been quite successful in 2021, winning all the local short trail events that he's entered. And this is his uh, first ultra marathon of the year. In Belair, we uh, pass some people doing their training runs on a Sunday, so they don't have a number on. You've got Bryn Nichols here in the purple. He's a uh, 227 marathoner from uh, Gold Coast in 2018. We've also got in the blue and white here, Mark Howard. Plenty of time here all day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he ran a uh, 2.32 marathon at Adelaide in 2000. Now going down uh, Brown Hill Creek Road, I managed to capture a couple glimpses of Sean. He was just over a minute ahead of me. So, yeah, I did my best to not let that uh, deficit go too high and um, pushed it quite a bit through weight. And this way we started to pass some of the 8am runners, which you can see walking up this uh, little incline here. By the time we got to the old freeway, I would uh, got the deficit down to less than 20 seconds. So I knew that my race wasn't really with Sean anymore. It was slowing up quite a bit. So it was more about just managing myself and I was able to relax, have a bit of fun talking to Maddie here at one of the 8am starters and uh, just worry about my own pace. Through most of the aid stations I was about a minute up on what I predicted and I was about two minutes up by halfway. And going down Coach Road and through a Horsnell Gully I was able to push things quite a bit and ended up being about five minutes up on my fastest predicted time by the time I got to Norton Summit. However, by not long after three hours, I started to really feel it and I had to back things off quite a bit through Murray Alta. I was really feeling the heat and it wasn't helping the fact that I had people like Mark Collingsworth here from the 28K that was already flying past me making me feel like I was going super slow. I really couldn't get cool and comfortable through Murray Alta. Uh, any fluid that I was taking in was uh, throwing up after Rocky Hill. And because I was feeling quite low, I ended up having quite a long chat in the aid station. By my standards, 36 seconds is quite a long aid station stop. 
with the other aid station stops being just a quick changeover of the bottle because the only mandatory gear for today was a mobile phone. And although I did have a really rough time through Mariolta having lightheadedness and no power on the hills, just walking what I knew I should have been running, uh, it was still the fastest time of the day for the 56 k's through there. And that's one of the reasons why I do these things, to be in a race situation, to lift my performance, to be on a difficult course where things don't go all your way, makes for a memorable day out.